Hello guys, in this video today I will guide you how to hosting multiple applications inside a website in IIS IIS mean Internet Information Services Okay, so basically it's when you are hosting any website in in the in a domain so you want to be created some application with the same domain and the IP address for, for the website and so in this video today I will guide you how to do it okay so now let us start it I will close this one okay so fully I will open the internet information services here okay so now here I will go ahead to create a new site a new site okay so before creating a new site so I will open the the, the root web root folder in the C drive go to in in net pop web root okay so here I will create a new folder here so I will name it e for uh, my test side okay cool so here I will uh, create another folder I will my name is the main side okay so in the main side I, I will create a file and name it is the index oh sorry Mm. Okay, I will create a HTML file first. New file. I will change it. Attention HTML. Like. Open this in the. Mm, Okay, here. So I will name it is either hello B at two hello is this a main side? Okay, good. And I will copy this, paste it here. I will create another folder, side two and side three. I will change the tag in this file. Hello, this is hello from side two. Okay, good. Hello from side three. Okay, so here I have just finished create the, the 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 necessary file for my demonstration for three side. The first side I have a index.html file. We 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 will say the uh, main message and the side number two. It will say the hello from side two, and the same thing for side three. It will say hello from side three. Okay. Back to the Internet Information Services. Here I will create a new site, and I will name it a uh, uh, chain dot site dot site testing dot local chain site testing dot local. Okay, I copy this one site name. And I put it into the hot name. Okay. So here for physical path, 
I will open the folder and copy the main side. Copy this part. Paste it in the physical part. Okay. So now here I will click on the text setting. Is authentication pattern. Okay. So here for the binding, I will select the type HTTP for the IP address uh, on other side and pass is the HT. Okay. So I click on the OK button. You have to make sure the start website immediately check box here has been checked by default. If it not, if, if it is unchecked here, so you have to uncheck it. Click on OK button. Yeah. Uh, I will sorry. I will edit this one. <clears throat> I will copy the hot name. Okay. So here, if you click on this one and run it on the on the side. Okay. So here you cannot see the content inside uh, from this uh, side, and it 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 will say the side cannot be reached. <clears throat> okay, so here you have to open the hot file in the C drive system three two. Okay, to add to add the 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 the. the Change those settings, those local web, uh, website domain into the hot file. Okay, open the my computer C drive and window system three two. Uh, drive. Driver. Etc. Hot. You open it in with another editor in the PC, and here I have a Notepad plus plus, so I will open it. Okay, here. So at the end of this one, I will add one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one is the IP of the local host. I will paste it the host name here. Change dot setting dot local. Save it. Click again to save. Okay, cool. So now I close this one and I back to the website and try to refresh this one. If the configuration is good, show this side. Yeah. So here you can see we have uh, the hello this email side message from the index.html file. So that means the configuration, the configuration for the main site is good to go. Okay. So here, I will back to the information services manager. Okay. So basically, if you want to run the 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 the, the, the index file inside the site number two and site number three, so here you can go ahead to create create a new site for the site number two. First of all, I will enter name it is site two dot chain dot site testing dot local, and the same thing for site three, the site site three dot chain dot site setting dot local. So it should be it should be work. But here, instead of creating new the site here, I will guide you how to create how to use only one one site to. Or to 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 hosting the same the same another side. I mean hosting multiple sites in by using only one website in the IIS server. So here I will click on this one, and you can see here we have an option add application. Click on this one here. So here you have a aliad. Okay, shy name alias for this one. I will enter it either uh, my site two and the physical part. I will copy this one.
reload click on ok button okay back to the end uh, open is here advanced setting yeah okay so now i try to run it my side number two yeah so here you can see for now we can see the message of hello from side number two so in this of creating a new site we can create new application inside this existing site in the is server here so here we have another uh, name is my site number two should be an alias for the new site it will be after the slash character here okay so here i will do the same thing for site number three application my my site three okay so here for the physical part okay click on this one so here you can see we have a hello from the sign number three okay cool so here i think it's working fine for now and of course you can use the the the, the one 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 side in the uh, is server here to hosting for multiple application yeah so when adding any the new uh, application here you can you are able to change the application pool here you can select any existing or even created a new application pool for the alias applic uh, alias website or a new application okay okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to fully create the new new uh, uh, site in the internet information services and after that you can use the uh, current site for create multiple uh, uh, application app app application in, in in the internet information services okay so i hope this video will have fun for you and if you see any issue let me know thank you bye bye and see you later